to Celebrity Big Brother US Season 1, Episode 7. Yes. So we start out this show, and Julie looks like she has four boobs. I don't know where, which one's which, where they are, and where they're supposed to be, but I see, I count four. I count four. In this episode, we have the veto and the eviction and the start of the next HOH. So we pick up from nominations where Ariadna nominated Shannon and James. Having James on the block is actually entertaining for me because it knocks his ego down a little bit, and at the end of the day, he needs that a lot. So that's what Brandy thinks of these nominations. So the majority of the house is all sitting in a room consoling Shannon, who's really upset about being on the block. And then Omarosa walks in the door. Can can you not be in here for this? No, you don't dismiss no, me. She... Yikes. <laughs> Omarosa and Shannon are just not getting along right now. I know you know the game way better than I do. Even better than these two. All four of us know the game. No, these she are... knows the game better than any. Well... Shannon again is talking about how she's gonna quit, how she's just like given up, how she hates this game now. We want you to play the game, Shannon. This is the game you love, and I know. I don't love it anymore. After this, I won't be able to watch it. Ugh, she's so annoying right now. Ugh. She's being the biggest sore loser ever in the world. But Omarosa doesn't think that she's actually quitting. Mm-hmm. Brandy, being, being the Brandy we all know and love, um, out of literally nowhere, in the middle of a conversation, she says, did you ever sleep with him? With who? Well... Brandy! You cannot ask that question! But I'd really like to know the answer. So there you go. Then of course, it would not be an episode of Celebrity Big Brother without some odd scene with Metal World Peace. Good morning, everybody. When I first got here, I was struggling. And then I had to find something that could take me back home. So I'm with the owl every day. I found this owl, and I've been feeling so much better that I was able to find something to attach to. And I'm feeling like I can go to the end. You have to go to the bathroom with the owl? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep it all day today. It makes me happy. Okay. okay. Gives you comfort, okay. Meta World Peace is having a showmance with an owl. Honestly, I believe that Meta needs this owl. It's, it's a human pacifier. You love that owl. That's so cute. You look, <laughs> that's cute. It has a name. Orwell, Orwell. I forgot. Yeah, Orwell. 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 As a guy? Yeah. As a guy. <laughs> Marissa watches James take a shower. Oh, Marissa goes to work, starts spreading rumors. She tells Shannon that she's the target, and then she tells James that he's the target. Just so you know. You guys are all going after me now? <laughs> no. <laughs> and then she goes, I'm at the bottom of the totem pole. I've been trying to fight for She's them. not on the totem pole. She's not even on the totem pole. <laughs> so Marissa comes and tells Brandy what James told them. And Brandy doesn't care. She's not trying to keep anything a secret. She wants to get to the bottom of it immediately. Oh, Marissa, you just went up to James and told him that he's the new target? I haven't talked to James. When would I have done that? She just doesn't care. I can't get in trouble for telling you <laughs> that story. I'm talking really, really loud. But I don't care if I'm talking loud, actually. I'll go bring him in here and say, got it, yes, got, got him, got him. Wait, Marissa? No, no, I'm just gonna get James. It'll be easier. Marissa calls a house meeting, basically, minus a couple people. But did you ask if your deal with them has fallen apart? No. If you if you weren't concerned about the truth, you wouldn't be cutting me off anymore. Y'all know exactly what happened. If you have any specific questions, ask me later. Basically, Omarosa and James argue just a little bit, but James is not having it. He doesn't feel like arguing because it's such a waste of his time, and Omarosa is just spreading a bunch of crap, so he just walks away. I don't trust James as far as I can throw him, and I might be able to actually throw him because he's a tiny little human being. But James is not a good liar, and he's clearly telling the truth. Omarosa is an excellent liar, and she's clearly lying. Brandy's just over it. She's over Om Omarosa. She's done. People in this house literally change their plan every single day. Can anyone stick to a plan? That's what we're all saying here. So if all of Omarosa's turmoil is causing a little chaos in the group, I need to keep us together. I will tape us together. I will glue us. Get me a nail gun, and I will use that. I can be quite handy. 
Brady comes up with the idea to bring James into their alliance. You're cute, you're talented, but you're obnoxious. And yet she brings him in anyway. And she tries to get his attention. <laughs> Shannon goes and tries to talk to Meta. Shannon, you're trying to work with me, but I have a personal vendetta against you. Remember, you didn't let me go home to see my wife. I'm gunning for you. So, Meta's um, strategy seems to be, oh, well, you didn't let me go home, then I'm gonna come after you. That's the most twisted, backward strategy I've ever heard in my life. But, <laughs> okay, Meta, you go and win this game now. Hey, everybody, it's time for the veto competition. No. Time for the black box veto. Woo! That pea soup came out of that cannon so fast it almost split me in half. I don't know what that means. I did not understand that joke. I don't. I don't even know what that. Uh, I don't know. I'm thinking. Am I thinking too hard on this? I don't know. I think I'm overthinking it. I don't know. Or it just doesn't make sense. I don't know. I don't know. I am no stranger to being slimed. Been there, done that, won some awards, got some slime. Thank you very much. James reliving his glory days. The only time he was even remotely relevant on Nickelodeon. I threw balls to try to figure out if the room was square or round and how big it was. I don't know. In my brain, that made sense. I believe it. I believe that in your brain, that made sense, Brandy. Okay, so we find out that James wins the power of veto. Brandy came in dead last. I lost to Omarosa, and she has asthma. So James won the power of veto. He used it on himself, of course. He even apologized to Shannon for not using it on her. Wish that that just doesn't make any sense. Um, anyways, Mark was the replacement nom, like I said in the last video. And so on the block were Mark and Shannon. Shannon ended up going home. Brandy voted for her to stay. Not quite sure what that was. I didn't really look into it. But uh, there you go. Five to one, Shannon went out the door. Then it's time for the HOH competition. Now it's time for the spoilers. Spoilers for the live feed. Spoilers, sisters, sisters, so. Okay, so Omarosa ended up winning the HOH and she nominated Brandy and Ross. Um, that is all that I have for this one. I haven't had a lot of time to watch the feeds or look into them, but I know th those main parts, you know, um, yeah. So yeah, um, that's it. That's all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, then okay. And I will see you tomorrow with episode eight of Celebrity Big Brother US season one. It's, it's, that's it. There you go. Thank you and goodbye.